There's a song by Kirk Franklin and the family that says, I can do the impossible. I can see the invincible because I got faith. You know, we all need faith. And this week, we're going to talk about regular faith. You know what time it is. Grab those cups, fill them up, get ready for Coffee for the Culture. You know, this week we want to talk about something, you know, that is huge in the life of, of being a Christian. That's huge in the life of being a follower of Christ. It's huge in your walk uh, with God. And that's faith. So, you know, um, throughout the, the second half of, of 2019, um, Pastor Mike Todd out at Transformation Church did a series on, you know, crazy faith. And each week there were these different themes that came about that ultimately led to, you know, understanding the importance of faith. And this week, though, you know, I I want to kind of, you know, throw my own little, you know, faith message in there. I'm going to call it regular faith. Um, so what do I mean by regular faith? Uh, we can take a look at the book of Daniel, chapter six. And, and this is, you know, when it comes to Daniel, everybody knows the story of Daniel and the lion's den. And basically they know that the second half of the story, or, or not even really the second half, they know the middle chunk of the story where Daniel got thrown in the lion's den by the king and he survived. Like, you know, that's everybody's like, yay, you know, cool. But here's what I need us to understand when it comes to regular faith. So in the first part of this chapter, you know, Daniel has some haters and there were some, you know, priests and high priests and satraps that were trying to plot against uh, Daniel. And they ultimately got the king to, you know, establish this decree that, you know, if you were going to bow down to somebody, you, need to, you needed to bow down to the king. And so it was found out that, you know, Daniel was not bowing down to the king. He was bowing down to the king of kings. You know, he was bowing down to, to God. He was bowing down to his father in heaven. And, you know, the high priest and the satraps were like, oh, you know, king, like, I th didn't you say this decree, you know, it, that they had to bow down to you? So Daniel didn't do that. So what does this mean? You know, you got you to gotta uphold the decree. Come on, king. And what happens next is probably one of the best parts of the Bible to me. Daniel wasn't like, oh, man, but king, this is what I was doing. Oh, but king, like, you know, just spare my life, anything like that. Daniel just, it basically was like, Daniel went back to his room and prayed. He, I, he, it don't even really go into depth about his prayer or what he said or anything like that. It just really says, and Daniel went back to his room and prayed. And then, you know, Daniel was thrown in the lion's den and Daniel was saved. And then because of Daniel's faith and his reverence to God, basically the new decree that happened after the high priest and the subtrafts and their family, including the women and children, got thrown into the lion's den and they died. I encourage you to go back and read that because that's, whew, that's a wow. That's, oh my goodness. Um, you know, so after all of that, the decree was that the people that were under the king, like everybody, all the nations, they needed to now give reverence to the same God 
that Daniel was giving reverence to and just using his regular faith. You know, it, it was, it, it, and when he's, when I said that it was so simple as he just went back to his room and prayed, it talks about it in a way like that this is what he's done before, that he just prayed, that he just had faith. And so that's what I want us to understand is, is that, you know, you got history with God, you know, the song by Maverick Music with Alton Eugene is like, you and I got history and we go way, way back. In this case, that's what Daniel was like with God. God, you and I got history and we go way, way back. So I know that whatever comes out of this, you're going to get the glory ultimately. And you are going to always remain in control because I just need to remember, I just got to have faith in you. And so that's what it is. Get to a point where you can have regular faith that when the situations come, the life storms, the, the trials, the tribulations, that you're just like, all right, I guess I'm going to pray. Remember, have you some regular faith this week. Peace and blessings, everybody. One love.